Hey guys, what's going on? Rob here, Fully Loaded Customs. Welcome back to the channel. As you see in today's headline video, I'm going to be giving away some free airbrush artwork. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can get hooked up with some custom paint. So that's right, guys. I'm going to be doing a uh, airbrush art and custom paint giveaway. But before I tell you the details on that, uh, I'm just going to show you some of the airbrush art that I've done before. I'm going to start off the video here with some art that I first did when I first got into airbrushing, some of my earlier stuff, and then I'm going to work my way to the most recent things. This is an idea I have, guys, for the channel. Please leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. I'm going to try and respond to everybody who comments on the video. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, definitely stick around. I will be telling you how.
Okay guys, I'm back at the shop here. So this is a 63C10 pickup truck. Uh, art design that I'm doing here for concept that art design that I'm doing for a buddy of mine. He's actually got this 63C10. It's getting painted in the winter time. Uh, hopefully then in the, by the springtime, I can come over to the other shop there and lay the true fire down on the truck. True fire is something that I really enjoy doing. I can hide skulls and true fire and whatever else there all day long. And it's uh, very enjoyable for me. I can see tr true fire pretty much on any vehicle, any bike tank, pretty much on anything. Uh, I can see it and lay it down without an issue at all. Um, I learned how to do this technique from Mike Lavalley and Patrick Guyton, who are, in my opinion, probably the best two uh, true fire airbrush artists out there. And, uh, you know, took their courses and learned from them on how to do this. And they do such a phenomenal job that I knew when I wanted to learn how to do this, uh, I had to go find the best people I possibly could on how to turn out this technique. And I love doing it. So uh, I love this. It's uh it's always a fun day. It's always a fun day when I'm doing true fire, man. Uh, the 58 concept designs over here, second vehicle I ever did. And I got the first vehicle I ever incorporated the gold leafing into as well. And I can't wait to, to the day that the 58 is going to be able to get, uh, is in flake and I can start laying down patterns, man. Yeah, it's going to be such, <laughs> such a great couple days, man. I can't wait to, for that to happen. It's going to be such a fun time laying down this custom artwork on that and having that as a giant canvas for me, uh, me to work on. I look forward to it so much. This is the, uh, the low rider pattern artwork designs that I do. And if you can see here too, this stuff, it just, it just dances, especially if you get this in the sunlight, this stuff just dances. Uh, I love doing this stuff here too. Uh, I learned from candy and Chrome who, in my opinion, is one of the best, uh, low rider pattern art designers out there. I took his course and learned from him watched countless videos on how he does this and just a phenomenal, phenomenal artist. And I knew when I wanted to do this here too, I went and found the best person that I knew who was capable of doing this stuff. And I wanted to learn from them and it's just, it looks so good. I can't wait till my material comes in so I can wet sand and polish this and that stuff looks like glass because it's just going to dance so much more. I love seeing stuff like that. So guys, I'll show you the, uh, the other two things I have in the shop that are the newest pieces here. Uh, for the airbrush artwork that I've done here now. So guys, these are the most recent uh, airbrush artwork that I, artworks that I've done here in the shop. Uh, this is the 72 Roadrunner design you see me do there not too long ago on the YouTube channel. I did a tutorial on how I do these vehicle airbrushings uh, step by step. Now, this is the very first one I ever did was that 458 Ferrari that I showed you guys in the earlier video. Uh, earlier in this video rather and then uh, this is the fourth one so I keep getting better at these when I do them and I definitely enjoy doing these these always to me, in my opinion really turn out great uh, seeing it on camera and then seeing it in person just a, it's a big difference right pretty much with anything that you guys see on uh, YouTube paint work and everything else in person makes a huge difference how these appear but these ones have been wet sanded and polished as you can see I'll just zoom on up in here uh, you can see the 58 trim setting up there and yeah, I can go for as as far as reading the box, and it's going to pick out the text in that box, right? Um, and that's you know the box is sitting up on the shelf, but wet sand and polished. That's that's the kind of difference that these things here make, right? When they're wet sand and polished. That's why I said I can't wait till I get my material in so I can do the 58 Impala concept there, because that that stuff's just going to shine, look really good up here in the shop. And this here is my most recent uh, mural artwork design. Uh, this is a David Gonzalez piece. Uh, this is an original artist. For this I just wanted to do uh, to duplicate one of theirs or one of his uh, his drawings and just kind of airbrush it out because it looked really looked really cool. Has uh, a lot of great artwork that uh, yeah, nice and challenging to do. Right, it's something I haven't done before either. This is this is something new. I really haven't done this whole entire uh, kind of design either before. Like you've seen in the other the other ones I posted up was kind of just one image with a black background. This one it's all completely full, right? I like doing these here too. They think they just they turn out really good, right? Uh, you can kind of see the, the detail that's in the face up in there too. Uh, my thumb gives you an idea on how big that is. Same with the skull down here, the detail that's in the skull's face, and that's how big that is. And uh, yeah, guys, so these are the most recent pieces I have here in the shop. So 
Uh, hey, stay tuned. I'm just about to tell you guys how I can hook you up with some free custom paint. Okay. Hey guys, so thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, thanks for checking out the Airbus artwork work I did. So now I'm gonna tell you guys how, if you guys are interested in getting some custom painting, I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna do that for free. So uh, with custom paint and airbrush artwork, work, I don't know if you guys have ever had to have that done or tried to get that done before, but uh, usually you, you're, you're, you know, artists are charging a lot for their time. For example, I think on average, most bike tanks might be anywhere between I'd say anywhere between probably 1,500 to four grand. It all depends on the artist that you're doing. Uh, I know I've seen some vehicles where people have airbrushed the whole vehicle, and I think the artist charged 15 grand or something. So quite a bit of money involved in the time. Uh, the materials are not that expensive. It's mostly the time that you're paying for for something to be creative and artistic, right? So uh, the idea that I had here, guys, is I do the artwork for free. Uh, I, if you guys want to ship me something, uh, bike tanks, uh, hard hat helmets, uh, if you wanted me to do maybe an 8 by, 18 by 24 canvas or something, uh, whatever, like say, a, you know, a vehicle airbrush artwork design or just Skulls and Flames or Harley Davidson or something like that, right? Uh, I, I could just, I could do that there too, or I could do, like I said, you know, custom design on your bike tank skins or uh, a helmet, anything like that, right? Anything you can think of that you'd like to get custom painted, I can do for you. And I'll do it for free. I won't charge you at all for my time. The only thing I'd be asking for is just, just to help out maybe, you know, uh, and cover the, the shipping and handling costs uh, and the paint material costs. And what I'll do is I'll show you, at, uh, I'll show you in just a couple minutes exactly what I mean by the paint material costs. Uh, I deal with tcpglobal.com, tcpglobal.com. Uh, they give really good paint deals, especially if you're in the United States. Uh, they're really good with their equipment, or sorry, really good with their pricing. And most of the airbrush equipment and supplies I can get for next to nothing. So uh, I wouldn't expect you guys to pay for my time. That's a gift for me to you that I'll just do for you guys for free. And it helps, it helps me get uh, do something I enjoy doing, man. Uh, I, I love doing artwork. It's, it's something that, uh, it's my gift that I have that uh, I can see custom airbrush designs on different things. And uh, I, I can see that, that's my gift. And I just want to be able to share that with people. So guys, if you're, if you're interested in this, uh, please leave your comments down below. And uh, if you have something that you want to get custom painted and uh, I'll just, uh, I don't know if I'll just pick some random people or I'll pick the people who reply first. But the only thing I need you to do, just be, uh, you know, comment, subscribe, like the video, maybe share it, right? Uh, if you can show me that you've done those three things, I'd just be happy that uh, you could do that for me. And I'll give you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll share my gift with you of custom artwork. And I just, whatever you have that you want to get custom painted, I'll do it for you. And uh, yeah, so just if you can cover the, the cost of material, uh, shipping and handling, and that'd be pretty much it. And if I grow the channel where I get to the point where people, uh, you know, I got, I got paint sponsors or something like that, nobody's going to pay for nothing. I'll cover all that stuff then. So guys, I'll just show you real quick just what I mean by the paint supplies uh, and what I do and uh, you know, basically what you might expect to pay for something. So guys, I'm just going to go over with you real quick, just kind of the idea I had and kind of what I want you to kind of cover for material wise. So for example, uh, say you were interested in getting an 18 by 24 canvas done. Um, I could go down, I could get that cut here. It's probably about 15 bucks for an 18 by 24 canvas. Uh, 18 by 24 canvas be about $15. Uh, and then I just ask you basically a couple questions. What would you like to have painted? Can you send me some images, high quality images of the things that you'd like to have on the art piece? And basically, you know, a little rough description of what you'd like to have. And I just kind of go from there, right? So basically say if you sent me over this image and said I'd like to have this image airbrushed on an 18 by 24 canvas, I take a look at it, open the emails, look at the pictures, find out what colors I need, and then I build you a cart on TCB Global. For so for an image like this, that's only a couple colors. Uh, I will just, I'll show you real quick. So I go on TCB Global, I'd, I'd add black and I'd add white to the cart. These come out to about twenty four dollars US. So in total for this year, um, you know I don't expect anybody to go pay, you know three hundred bucks or whatever it is for a gallon of house color clear coat. I just add, you know, maybe 20 bucks on to the, to the cost if you can send that out just for the cover of the clear coat, right? So then 24 US for the paint, $15 for the canvas, 20 bucks for the clear, 
you're looking at roughly, you know, probably about $60, $70 or something like that to have something pretty simple and black and white scale airbrushed on a canvas. And, um, you know, that just gives you kind of a rough idea. You know, that's basically, if I was doing this for you, you know, that's my kind of cost that I would be, that's my cost just to paint it, right? Would be buying the white and the black, buying the canvas, and then, you know, of course, covering the clear coat. I'd also have to color, you know, if I'm doing the clear coat too, um, you know, I also got to cover primer and primer, reducer, you know, I can go on and on with material too, you know, sandpaper for sanding things to get it prepped and, you know, wax and grease, you know, wax and grease remover, cleaner, all that kind of stuff, right? That all adds up after a while. So, but like I said, I wouldn't, uh, I'm not going to charge for any of that stuff. Just, just basically the airbrush paint I would need for the project, a little bit extra for the clear coat to cover the clear coat costs and just whatever the shipping and handling costs would be. Obviously, if you're going to send me something a bit bigger, shipping and handling is going to be a little bit more, right? But at the end of the day, you got to think uh, you're getting a free piece of, uh, you know, airbrush artwork. Someone's not charging you their time for it. So in the long run, you're, so again, you're getting something pretty valuable for not a whole lot, right? But uh, so this is basically just to give you an idea of what something in black and white scale on an 18 by 24 canvas would cost. Two things of paint, the canvas and the clear coat probably around and the shorty of the shipping and handling you're you're probably looking you know like i said probably in that in that 60 to 70 dollar range right depending on where you live of course um so anyway guys i'll go over to the uh to the road runner and i'll just give you enough a, a rough idea on a project that's going to require um that requires more time i won't charge for the time but it, just so you know it does take more time to do and of course it's going to have more color so i'll go over there uh, I'll go over this here with you now as well. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna, just going to go over uh, just with you. Uh, roughly the, the cost you kind of might expect to pay on something a little bit bigger in size. Uh, that has more color to it as well, right? So, for example, for this project here, if you were getting me, if, if you were interested in me doing, say, a Plymouth Roadrunner on an 18 by 24 canvas, you just let me know that you'd like to have an 18 by 24 canvas. Uh, Plymouth Roadrunner, send me high quality images of what you'd like to have done, roughly the rough angle of the car, and basically the color of it, and stuff like that, a little description of what you like, and I can put something together for you. So for example, for something like this, you probably expect to pay, I can get this canvas here, probably about 10, 15 bucks, I think is all the size is, uh, and then the shipping and handling would probably be about maybe 20, 30 bucks or something, from here to wherever you're located. Um, it shouldn't be any more than that. So it'd be about, like I said, probably about 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Sorry, 15 bucks for the canvas tops, 30 bucks for the shipping handling, 40 bucks, 45 bucks. Uh, obviously if you're going to send me something like you want bike tanks done, bike tanks way more, they're a little bit heavier. We just have to figure out what the shipping and handling cost for that would be. I can hundred percent do that. That's not a problem. We just, you know, the shipping and handling charge is going to be a little bit more on something like a bike tank or a little bit has more weight to it, right? So just a rough idea on this. Uh, then when I would take your description of what you'd like to have, uh, what you'd like on it, I just kind of go over it, look at it, and determine what kind of primary colors I'd have to use uh, in that piece. And I put together a little shopping cart on TCP Global. So for example, for this project here, uh, if you send it to me, I would take a look at it. Say it was this exact image online. I'd take a look at it, determine the colors you need. So I come up with these ones here. Um, candy magenta forget it says wildberry candy and <laughs> wildberry candy though uh, I don't have any candy magenta left because I've used it all uh, pretend this is a silver base coat that's been used as well uh, gray metallic which is what you'd find in the rims here pink which is sprayed well around the vehicle there um, white and black which is obviously interior highlights rims tires and around the vehicle for the example here i've gone through a lot more black uh, this is empty same with this one here this is empty there too and that's why i'm asking you just to send supplies because hey they, they you know they go quick that's empty this is empty uh, that's pretty much empty this one's empty too right so this is the only stuff i'd be expecting you guys to kind of cover on a project like this the primary colors i know i've got some purple and some oranges and stuff like that in here more orange over there I would not expect anyone to go pick up a full bottle of paint, 
to cover a little bit of stuff like that. Um, if I have the paint on hand, I won't add it to the list of things needed for the project. Um, the only thing that I know I'm going to go through a lot of doing this stuff is clear coat. So I probably just, you know, add a little clear coat amount on there because I don't think anyone can ship me out, a, you know, a couple of small little things of clear that's going to cover it, right? So I just add something on, on top of it to be sent out for the, for the clear coat. Unless, of course, guys, you wanted to do something like a, a pay it forward for the next person. Uh, say, you know, if you did have those extra three colors in a project like this, but you wanted to send me out, uh, these three extra colors just to show your appreciation of, uh, you know, me not charging my time for something like this, I greatly appreciate it. Same with the clear code. If you wanted to send me out a gallon to cover the next two or three people's projects, I greatly appreciate that. And I'm sure they would as well. So, and then just for an idea here too, guys, like an airbrush project like this, these six bottles here on TCB Global will cost about $119. Uh, that's what I have right now in the cart is about $119. And that covers what these uh, these pieces of, or bottles of paint would cost. So $119 for this, um, $15 for the canvas, and $20, $30 for the clear coat. So you'd be looking probably about $160 or somewhere like that just for an idea on what it would that's what it would cost me to do the, the paint work on here. And that, that also would not include the uh, the compounding and the pads and stuff for wet sanding and polishing a project like this afterwards too, right? So just kind of think about that. That's another thing too. If you were looking to do a pay it forward to show your appreciation and wanted to ship out something like that or send that out, or if you're a detailer and you know, you've done car detailing and you think there's an awesome products that I've never used that you'd like to send out to show your appreciation, hey, I greatly appreciate that too, right? So something like this, uh, I think an artist can probably charge anywhere between about 300, probably 300, $700 or more on something like that. Uh, this year, 18 by 24 canvas. This took probably about, I'm going to say probably about 15 to 20 hours with the wet signing, polishing, uh, putting the design on there, masking, unmasking stuff and painting it and uh, yeah, wet sanding it, polishing it, maybe about that, 15 or 18 hours, something like that. But that just gives you an idea of what, you know, how long something like this does take, right? It's not like I knock it off in an hour or so. Um, especially when it's something like this that, uh, you know, requires different multiple stages to get done. Or like those, you know, the candy patterns over there, for example. That's a whole other thing that takes a lot more time to do as well because there's a lot of different stages involved in something like that. And um, yeah, so that just gives you an idea. I went to an art gallery where there was an 18 by uh, 24 canvas. And I'll see if I can find the picture just to, sh just to kind of show it to you. But it's a couple of bottles of glass of wine. And the wine is basically just being poured out. And it's got like the little swirly uh, metallic um, things or whatever, right? So you can definitely tell that I've been watching a lot of Vice Grip Garage lately. I swear the next thing I was going to say was sparkulators. Uh, if you haven't already, go check that guy's YouTube channel out. It's uh, it's pure gold. Metal grinding, Rob. Metal grinding was the word you're looking for. So anyway, back to the video. With the wine glass color underneath it. And uh, we know just a black background on it. But something like that at a, at a art gallery was going for $3,200. And that's an 18 by 12 canvas. I was looking at it and I'm like, Ooh, that's not you know it's not too hard but at the same time that that artist has probably been doing his art for however long and that's the price he's demanding for his artwork so that's the price that it's at so you know that's what i'm saying things like this can vary a lot uh bike tanks for example like people who are doing bike tanks they could be anywhere between 2500 um you know 1500 dollars to up over 4000 right 7000 depending on who the artist is i've seen full vehicles you know that were done like i was saying before you know, the artist wanted 15, 20 grand and that's what they got for it, right? So you, depending on the artist and who it is, you can get uh, charged quite a bit of money out of your pocket for paying for stuff like that. But for me, guys, I, it's, uh, airbrushing is my gift. I want to be able to give it out free. I want to be able to, you know, help out people in case there's, you know, you don't have $4,000 to get your bike done or $6,000 to get your bike tank done. But hey, I'd love to help you out and do that for free and hook you up with a custom paint job. All I'm asking is, you know, right now at this specific time, just help me out with some of the material costs and, you know, I'll hook you up with a cool custom paint job on your stuff, right? 
And, you know, if I give out my art to enough people, you know, and help out enough people get what they want, eventually I'm going to get everything I want. So that's why I'm not really too concerned about uh, charging you guys for it, right? If I just give out my gift, uh, you know, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make room for me and I'm going to end up with uh, way more value than I could ever imagine if I was charging people with it, right? So uh, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Um, the only other thing, like I was saying, would probably be if you guys can like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and uh, maybe share the video. If you can show me that you've done all three of those or, or four of those, uh, you'd be eligible for this, you know, the airbrush giveaway. And like I was saying, when I get to the point where I'm sponsored by either uh, different paint companies or whoever else, right, I'll, I'll get to the point where they're sponsoring videos. And when I get to that point, you know, it's going to pay for nothing. Everything will be covered by those guys who are sponsoring the videos. So everything will be covered. Everything will be free at that point. But for now, just ask them for a little bit of material cost to be covered. And I'll hook you up with free artwork, free of cost. Won't be charging you for my time. So I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll leave this video up here for a couple of weeks. Just kind of monitor it, see what the comment section is doing, see if there's some interest in this or not. And then uh, I'll just go from there. I've got uh, I've got to go on a, on a work trip for uh, a little while here, so I got to get the Ford F one fifty done. Uh, I got some some rocker guard I'll be doing in the Ford F one fifty next, so that'll probably be the next thing that I'm doing. I'll post a video of that up. But uh, until then, guys, uh, remember if it's not regular, it's not custom. Leave your comments in the comment section. I'll check those out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.